Hey there stampers, this is Sherry Roth with Stamped Treasures. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Alberta, Canada, and I'm excited to be here to share this fun card with you. This was a card that um, we created as a make and take at the uh, Great Canadian Scrapbook Carnival a couple weekends ago, and I just love how it features our new 2022-24 in colors and a fabulous new bundle that I think would get overlooked. It is called the Alphabest Bundle. So I, you guys know that if you follow me, I love scrapbooking, so I knew that this was top of the list um, for things to buy right off the bat. Uh, it's got a great alphabet set, lots of symbols, and then these little label shapes, and then they, it also coordinates with this fun little label punch as well. So not only is it good for scrapbookers, but it's also great for cards as well. It's a great size for cards. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna use a mix of products today. So my card is a little bit smaller than our standard size. It is a note card size. So we sell in the catalog um, a package of note cards and envelopes. They pr come pre-cut and scored for you with the envelopes and they're very affordable. You get a package of 20. So if you're looking for quick and easy, um, this is a great place to start because it saves you having to cut and score your card bases. All right, so we are gonna, actually we're gonna stamp our background first. So you can see here, let me put this in frame. Now this splatter image is one of my absolutely favorite splatter images that we've ever had and it's from the nature's prints stamp set so we're going to use this guy here and we're going to stamp it in tahitian tide one of our new in colors we're going to create a little bit of a background so i'm just going to stamp and then i'm going to rotate it around stamp it again without re-inking and then just do the same thing i want to make sure that my splatters are not all going in the same direction so that's why i'm kind of moving it around okay let's do one more right about there oh, it's, there we go okay so it'll look kind of like that and then we're going to take our dark starry sky stamp and blend so these are our alcohol markers and we're going to add a little bit bit of a splatter to the background so i'm going to use the take the cap off the brush tip because there is a brush tip and a bullet tip um, on these markers and i'm going to take my bone folder and just tap and it gives you this nice fine splatter okay so now our background is done, we can work on our focal point, which is going to be the word hello. So I've got several scraps of the in colors and we're gonna pull in our Alphabest stamp set. And we'll grab our letters here. I've got my little blocks. So we'll grab the H, the E, the L, and the O. Okay, just need to grab a couple more blocks here. O and let's use this block. Okay. All right, and we're gonna stamp those in Memento ink, so just a black ink. Now, make note of how your punch, you're gonna punch out. So I'm going to keep this in mind that I'm gonna slide it in and punch this way. So I'm gonna stamp my letters like this and closer to the right hand side. Okay, so I'll do that one and then I'm gonna do the same thing for each one of my letters. L. Another L. And then our O. Okay. And now we can bring in our punch and punch those out. So by flipping over your punch, you can see exactly where to position it. 
You can also punch first and then stamp. These are photopolymer stamps, so it does make it really easy to kind of position it where you'd like it. Okay. So we've got all of our stamped or punched images. Now we'll flip them over and we're gonna add some dimensionals to the back. And if I had some full size dimensionals, I'd probably just use one on the back, but these are mini, so we'll make sure that we add a couple just to make it a little bit more stable. Okay. And then you'll see here that I have a card to say, and then the hello is our accent. So I took that a card to say from the Sending Smiles stamp set. So it actually says a card to say hello. So we need to mask that in before we stamp so that we um, don't get the word hello on there twice. So I'm gonna stamp in Memento Ink but before I ink up, I'm going to just use a piece of washi tape. You can also use a post-it note. And you know what, because this is a photopolymer stamp, you can actually even just go like this and just ink up a card to say, and then not ink up the word hello. So you could do it like that. But I'm just gonna stick that on there and I'm gonna ink this up. And then I'm gonna peel this off and we're gonna stamp this right on here, about there. Okay, so now we've got just the words, a card to say. So that's one of the great things about greeting sets is you can mask off what you don't want to use and, um, and get your greeting to read exactly what you want. And you can even combine greetings. Do that and combine greetings. Okay, we've got a different order here. Let's see, let's stick this guy on first. Okay, so I'm starting with the middle letter. So I'm using, I'm gonna put one of the L's on here first. Let's make it go the right way. And I'm gonna position it right, right about there. And then we'll work our way back here. And you can butt them right up or you can leave a space in between. It's completely up to you. I'm leaving just a sliver of space in between. our H and then our last step will be to add a little bit of bling. Well, it's not really blingy, but we're gonna add some of the matte decorative dots. All right, there we go. And I'm gonna bring in some of these 2022-24 in-color matte decorative dots. These are so fun. They come in all five of the in-colors and they're kind of like an ombre. So I've chosen the Tahitian Tide and we'll use the dark ones and I'm just going to add a little sprinkling. We're gonna use one of the big ones and then a couple of the little ones. And if you wanted to them to stand out just a little bit more, you could choose a different color, but I wanted them to kind of blend in with the background. All right, now let's decorate the inside of our card just a little bit. So I'm gonna bring in my Tahitian Tide and just a scrap piece of paper. It's always nice to add a little something on the inside. We go to all the effort of making the outside pretty. Why not do a little something on the inside? So I'm just gonna add a splatter there and then I'm gonna do the same thing on my envelope. There we go. And now we've got this fun little card that you could send to anyone for pretty much any occasion. You could turn this in, you could just 
let people know that you're thinking of them and send them this card. You can make it a thank you card. You can make it a thinking of you card, even a birthday card. All right. So thanks so much for watching. I have a full supply list in the description below. If you're in Canada and you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator um, and there are products that you saw that you would like to purchase, I, I'd love for you to shop with me. And if you are not yet a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.